Gary Neville. Gary, lovely to see you this morning. Can I start by asking about one of the new recruits at Manchester United, Manuel Ugarte, $67 million from Paris Saint-Germain. Is he, alongside Kobe Mainu, the, the central midfield partnership, Gary, that Manchester United have been looking for for quite some time? Yeah, I think that's the plan, speaking to people around the club this week. I think having more energy in midfield, someone who can get to the ball and tackle and break up play. They were obviously very open last season, having Casemiro in there on his own. And then you had, obviously, Mason Mount, who was injured quite a bit. But then you had uh, Ericsson, Fernandez, and Matt Tomney were all flying forward and basically attacking and leaving Casemiro on his own. Then Mainu came in and just balanced things off a little bit. But now I think Agate will end up playing alongside Mainu and should give Manchester United a platform in midfield that resembles something that we would all think can be very competitive, obviously domestic level and European level. Gary, Eric Ten Hag has a knack, doesn't he, of when he really needs a result, he finds a way to get one. Where are we with the pressure on him today? As in, is today a place where he's going to bring out that knack? How is the pressure on him right now? You're absolutely right. He's been hanging by a thread in a few moments during his Manchester United career. This game has been quite good to him. I think very early in his career, he lost his first two Premier League games. Then obviously as a Monday night football, he won and beat Liverpool, Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. And then obviously last season in the FA Cup, which is an essential victory for him. Ultimately, he wins the trophy and keeps his job because of it. There is pressure. I think what Manchester United and what... Well, certainly what the hierarchy will be wanting. You've got a CEO from Manchester City and you've got Dan Ash with the new sporting director. They're going to want to see results and they're not going to want to see Manchester United in mid-table. That's a fact. But what they are going to want to see definitely is a pattern of play and a style of play establishing very quickly so that Manchester United have an identity. It's not been clear to anybody, and I'm sure everyone there in the studio has been asking the same que asking the same question. How are Manchester United going to play? What's the style of play? What's the system? In the first two games this season, he's changed the back four. He's changed the system. He's brought a centre-forward on from not having a centre-forward. So already in the first three games, he's corrected his first-team selections during the game. He has got to stop doing that and get a pattern of play and something that resembles something that his Manchester United crowd could buy into. Gary, just finally, one of the things he's also had to correct is taking off Marcus Rashford. And there's been a lot of discussion about Rashford, whether he should start or whether Garnacho should start. Where do you stand on the Rashford situation? You've almost got to play him into form, I think, at this point. And there was a rumour this week that Raheem Sterling was going to sign. And I thought that can only mean bad news for Marcus Rashford because Sterling will come in and probably take his place. But I think they're going to have to try and play him into form. I think that Ganacho will start on the right-hand side. Um, he's obviously been out of the team in this first couple of games, but he's, I think, probably the number one winger at this moment in time in the club. I think Rashford and Ganacho have to play themselves into form and then Hoyland will come back into the team. And that front three that has got energy and a bit of youth, I think have to deliver for Manchester United, but more importantly for Eric Ten Hag. Interesting stuff as always. Gary, thanks so much for joining us. We'll speak next week. Thank you. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host of NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And if you want even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock.